Good morning guys, what's going on? And welcome back to a new video here today on the channel. Today, we've got a really exciting one because I want to bring you guys through an average day in the life for me. Now look, there is nothing fancy happening today. I am not going out and meeting with anybody. I'm not, you know, traveling. It's nothing like that. This is a pretty much average example of my day to day. When I wake up, I do my morning routine. I crack on with work for the day um, and get stuff done. This is what an average day looks like for me. And I've thought I would bring you along. I always love watching these kind of videos. I love vlogs. I love, you know, um, documenting the process, those kind of videos. You know, the, the applicational ones are fantastic, but sometimes it's just interesting to see a bit more behind the scenes and hopefully you can get some value out of that. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let me jump into it. So the time is currently quarter past seven in the morning. So this morning, guys, I got up at 7 a.m. I went into the bathroom, I brushed my teeth, washed my face, got dressed, made sure I was clean and ready to go for for the day. It's now quarter past seven, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is my morning routine. Now, normally I'll either wake up at five or six a.m. This morning, I didn't. This morning, I was actually up really, really late last night, so I ended up getting up a little bit later as well. And now, normally what I'll do when I wake up at five or six a.m. is I'll do a bit of a longer morning routine, and sometimes I will go to the gym. Now, today is actually my last proper work day for about two weeks because I'm off to Amsterdam in a couple of days. I'm then going straight down to the south uh, of the UK, where I'm gonna be staying in a lodge for a few days to uh, celebrate my brother-in-law's graduation. And directly from then, I'm off to London to fly to China for 10 days. So I've got a pretty jam-packed November. Obviously, during this period, it's my anniversary with my partner. It's also my birthday. So today is really the last solid, solid, solid work day I'm going to be able to get in before I go away for a few weeks. So I'm going to be showing you today. I'm still going to be getting my morning routine in. However, I'm just going to show you a short version of what I do. I'm going to try and cut it down to about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to have a really, really busy day of work. Like I said, nothing fancy about today. Today is an average day of what my life looks like when I'm not traveling, you know, when I'm not going to meet people or meet clients or things like that. And this is what my day looks like when I'm just me in my office. So uh, yeah, the time is now because I've been rambling on, the time is now 20 past seven. So what I'm going to do is try and uh, hop in, get my morning routine done. I'll show you a couple of my essentials, what I do, um, and just a short version of that. So this here, guys, is my little morning routine corner. This big, huge, comfy old man chair is the comfiest, the best thing in the world. I've got my little bookshelf here as well. This is where I tend to like to do my morning routines. So first things first here, I've got the five minute journal and I've also got the productivity planner. These here probably take about five to 10 minutes to fill out. They're a fantastic way to start your day. The productivity planner helps you plan your day in ensuring you focus on your most important tasks of the day and being productive as possible. The five minute journal is more of a gratitude kind of thing. It starts with a quote um, and then you write down what you're grateful for and uh, you know, sort of a self affirmation. guys so now what I'm gonna be doing is using an app called calm so what I'll tend to do here calm by the way is just a meditation app there's other ones here I've used headspace before I think calm is probably my favorite I keep changing back and forth between the two they're both completely free you can pay to use the paid options if you want to I generally just use the free ones but yeah so calm is a meditation app what I'm just gonna go ahead and do now is 10 minutes of meditation so I'm currently a few days through the seven days of calm meditation sort of package they've got going on here. What this is allowing me to gonna do is it's just gonna allow me to relax, completely de-stress. It's gonna allow me to clear my thoughts, clear my headspace before cracking on for the rest of the day. What this is gonna allow me to do is gonna allow me to be creative. It's gonna allow me to think positively. It's gonna allow me to actually be more creative, focus better. Meditation has an absolute plethora of benefits. I like to do it in the mornings just because if I don't do it in the mornings, I probably won't do it. Uh, it doesn't have to be long. If you only wanna squeeze in five minutes, you can do five. I'm gonna sit here now and just squeeze in a 10 minute session. To build on the concentration exercise from yesterday. Okay then, meditation done. All right then guys, so now that I've finished that, it is 22 to eight. I really wanna be back 
sat down at my desk for 8 a.m. in work mode. So what I'm gonna quickly go ahead and do now is do sort of my morning health routine. This takes me like five minutes. Just gonna take my supplements, my green juice, get my water all filled up for the day, uh, maybe have a coffee or some breakfast, and like I said, sit down and be at my desk for 8 a.m. So one of the first things I do in my morning health routine is fill up my water. Water is so important, not just for your health, but for your energy, for your focus. Uh, water is the best supplement you can ever take. You know, you could take all this green, juice, you can eat all the healthiest foods. If you're not drinking enough, enough water, you're gonna feel lethargic. You're not gonna be operating at an optimal level. So this is half a gallon. So what I actually go ahead and do is try and drink two of these a day. This is just a thing that I got sent free with one of my, my protein orders. But yeah, this is half a gallon, uh, just over two liters, I believe. I fill this up first thing in the morning. I get to uh, try and finish one of these before lunchtime. I'll fill it up again at lunch and then try and finish the second one afterwards. So the next thing I'll do is go ahead and take my supplements. Now look, I know some people take tens and tens and tens of supplements. I do need to get more knowledgeable on my supplements and, and you know what I should be taking. I know there's tons of stuff out there that people recommend, but for me, these are my three staples in the morning. So I've got uh, vitamin D3 here, I've got omega threes, and I've also got an alpha men multivitamin, which is a really, really jam packed multivitamin here from my protein. And then what I'll also do, another supplement that I do take before bed is I take uh, ZMAs before bed as well. So what I'll go ahead and do next is just have some of these green juice powders here. This one here is a fruit berry burst one. This one here is nothing but green nourishing superfoods for body and mind. So now it's time to feed the cats, and then we can crack on with some work. Oi, get out, come on. So the time is now 10 to eight. Morning routine done, health routine done, fed the cats, ready to sit down and crack on here before eight o'clock to start the day. Today's a busy one. I've got a ton of client outreach to do. I think I've got a coaching call later on today. I've got some funnels to work on. I've got all sorts of busy stuff to do. Got lots of meetings today. Got lots of things to focus on. Lots of client acquisition. Got videos to edit for the personal brand. I've got to post some content onto Instagram. Um, I want to get a funnel finished off today. Got all sorts of busy stuff to do, which I've got here. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna crack on. Okay, so solid uh, little session going on here right now. I'm replying to all my messages that I've got from potential clients or current clients, making sure I'm setting up meetings and getting as close to the close as possible. Now, this is just proof I wanna show you right now of something that happened that proves the power of follow-up. I got a message the other day, uh, actually was a referral from somebody of a client who, who needs Facebook ad help and we wanted to set up a call and hopefully you know move forward and progress together. And they went dead. The lead went dead. They weren't replying to any of the messages for some reason um, and it was on Upwork so they invited me through Upwork I got referred and they sort of went dead now rather than just assuming that the lead went dead I took it upon myself to just assume that maybe they don't use Upwork all of the time so what instead I did is I dropped them a DM I dropped them a Facebook message and an email all saying look Brad here I know you were interested in help with Facebook ads let's set up a call now I just got an email back this morning right there saying look thank you so much for following up I've added you to our Skype give us a call when you're available. If I never followed up, this may not have led anywhere. So already a really, really productive start to the morning because I'm just about to set up a meeting, hopefully for today with a potential client and we may even get a close. I'm just waiting on that reply. But like I said, follow up is key guys. Make sure you're doing it. Okay, just an update for you guys. What I'm actually doing right now is going through all of my DMs. I actually do a lot of client outreach through my DMs as well. So also what I'm doing now is just going through my DMs, replying to some important messages, replying to some of you guys, and to any questions that you have, and also trying to set up some calls with some potential clients. So 
got some more really good news, guys. Again, yesterday I had a potential call with a client. Went really, really well. Went on there. Price agreed upon. Everything agreed upon. Ready to kick things off. Um, we've since given her a ton of value. Sent her over our portfolio full of all of our awesome results. She spoke to a business mentor and is ready to get this partnership kicked off. Now, what's awesome about this, though, and this potential client, is this potential client is someone that would be with us for a long time. This isn't just a three-month contract or anything like that. This would be a 12, 24-month minimum kind of contract would be in it for the long haul, uh, but she's ready to take her business to the next level, her Shopify store to the next level, and that's where you know my agency would come in and help. And uh, she just said that she wanted to meet in person, so we could actually put a person to the face behind the Skype call. You know, meet for some lunch, meet for some coffee, um, all get to know each other and get the relationship kicked off. And one thing I want to say to that is like, look, I get a lot of my clients online. Literally, all of my clients actually I get online. I've never made a cold call to a local business, none of that stuff. I get all of my clients online. Now, one tip I've got for you is if a client seems interested <clears throat> and even if they live in a different country for me I'm lucky this person lives in, in the same country as me she lives pretty far away take the time spend the money and travel I don't care if you live in the UK and the client is in Germany or, or I don't care if the client is in Amsterdam I don't care if the client is in the USA spend the money hop on a flight fly there show up to the meeting in person and imagine how much harder it is gonna be for that person to turn you away when you've clearly shown how interested you are, you've flown all the way there, spent all that money and made that commitment to them. They're gonna find it very hard to turn you away and it also shows that you are really caring and really interested about actually helping that business. So, you know, this, this girl here, she said she wants to set up a meeting in person. I've agreed, I am more than happy. I don't care if she lives in Edinburgh and I've got to travel a seven hour train. I'll do it, I'll turn up to the meeting, even if it's just for an hour, have some lunch, have some coffee, sign that deal, build that relationship and that client will therefore stay with me for a lot, a lot of a longer period. So just another little tip for you today, the time is now quarter past eight, so I've only really been in work mode for the last kind of 20 minutes, I've already pretty much set up two meetings. I've set up a meeting with a potential client who is a referral, so it should be pretty much a good close if we're a good fit. The second one was follow up from a meeting that I had yesterday who seems very, very interested. I'm setting up a, a second meeting where we can actually sort of sign the contracts and move forward. So look, the time is quarter past eight and I've achieved more than most people achieve in their agency in two weeks, all right, a month. And it's just because I'm working on those right things. So, you know, I'm gonna continue to do that, more follow up, more outreach, focusing on those income producing activities. You haven't said anything just yet. So. Have you replied to both of them? Not that rubber company just yet. Okay, let's reply to the rubber company then. So it's, it's lead gen for pay a month. Awesome. It's a manufacturing company based in India. It's one of the most renowned companies in the field of rubber packaging for pharmaceutical and medical devices around the globe. Six month contract as well, that's pretty lit. We could probably push it up to a 12 month contract and if they're saying they can afford a K, realistically they can probably afford two. Do you know what I mean? Or for free. Yeah. So I say we get them on a call. I got a, oh, another good bit of good news. I got a reply from that Dave David guy that Michael referred to us and he wants um, to, to have a call today so hopefully he can set that up with me as well but he's in a different time zone so I'll probably find out this afternoon if that's actually going through or not. Didn't he say he was spending that kind of amount on? He said eight, didn't he, per lead? Yeah, and obviously 10 to 15 is a bit more expensive, isn't it? Just say, um, we could say something like, we think starting off you'll probably be about 15 but as soon as we gather more data we can get that down to like all right then guys so i have just finished my lunch break the time is now let me double check the time is now two o'clock for the last several several hours between the last clip you saw i've honestly just been focusing on client outreach, reaching out to as many new potential clients as possible through LinkedIn, through Upwork, through other freelance websites. So far, I've got one reply. Um, I messaged a real estate company. They got back to me and said they are interested in hiring a Facebook ads expert to bring down their cost per lead and they're interested in talking. So that could be another meeting that I've just set up. I literally just finished my lunch break, so I'm about to hop back into the office to continue. But I really quickly wanted to just show you something on my phone. So what you can see here is 
absolutely nothing astronomical, but it's a $67 affiliate commission that I just received from the company TubeBuddy. I just think it's crazy how I made a video over a year ago promoting the free version of TubeBuddy. All I did in that video was mention, look, if you want to get the paid version, there is a paid version, completely up to you. I did that over a year ago and I still make a commission almost every single month off the back of a video that I made a year ago. It's absolutely crazy to me. And yes, it's not much, but it all adds up when you've got several different streams of income. Also, I want to just give a quick shout out to Edward Mora. Literally just got a notification through on Instagram that he wants to book in a coaching call. So that's all booked in for Sunday at 7 p.m. Save your money. It's wrong. You do not save money. Money is useless until it is used. I take money. If you want to send your money to the graveyard, send it to the bank. Money will die. It is a, it's money in a casket dying at the bank. Bank of America benefits, you know. Well, Fargo benefits, you know. Oh, guys, what a day today has been. I am absolutely pooped. The time is now quarter past five. For the last few hours, I've honestly just been editing the video you're watching right now, as well as doing even more client outreach. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I had a coaching call today at 5.30. Unfortunately, the guy that was gonna have the coaching call had to rearrange, which was not an issue at all. Um, so I've rearranged that for Tuesday, which means now um, I'm pretty much done with my work day. I've been pretty much up and at it since 7 a.m., working all the way through, had a really productive day. As you can see inside of here, the funnel that I was working on is completely finished now. So the funnel is all done, which is fantastic. I've also set up four meetings today with potential clients, one of which was the second meeting, and I've got three additional meetings on top of that with all new potential clients, one is, of which is tomorrow, one of which is next Thursday, and I think the other one, maybe on Tuesday, I'll have to double check on that one, uh, but that is really really productive these are all new potential clients who before today knew nothing about me although the guy that booked a coaching call for this evening had to rearrange we did manage to book in a coaching call for Tuesday we got some affiliate commissions and a client payment is also due in later on this evening which is fantastic to look forward to so all in all it has been a really 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 productive day I need to go ahead and book China in a minute and I need to go ahead and pack for Amsterdam so I am gonna call it a day for this video this this has been my work day. I'm gonna do a little bit of work this evening, just some final touches, but nothing that I can really document. More kind of admin stuff, DMs, replying to some emails and that. Um, so I am, like I said, gonna cut this video here, but I am off to Amsterdam tomorrow, so I'm gonna vlog my whole weekend in Amsterdam and make one or two videos for that. Get some videos uh, whilst I'm out there as well. And on top of that, the whole trip whilst I'm away in China, I'm gonna film and document the whole process. So if you did like this video, we've got a ton more coming, hopefully even more entertaining i mean today has just been a work one where i've been in my office but we've got some travel type laptop lifestyle kind of videos coming over the next few weeks so if you did enjoy make sure you smash that like button let me know if you'd like to see more day in the lives more vlogs on the channel because if you do i really enjoyed making it myself thank you so much for watching um, if you guys want to learn how to build a social media marketing agency yourself from scratch learn how i get to live this lifestyle work on my own terms i do have a training program that i highly 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 recommend the link for that will be down in the description below if you want to book some coaching of course the link is down there as well thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one